good old chemical peels are really treatments where you apply AHA or BHA to the skin to exfoliate and to clear out dead skin cells. Chemical peels are good for the skin if you select it in the right patient group. So in acne prone skin, even in older age group patients as well, which have a lot of buildup of dead skin cells, it is really useful to clear out the surface dead skin cells to push or regenerate new skin cells. On the other hand, it is not great for skin that may be very hypersensitive. So skin that has dermatitis, for example, like eczema, would not be suitable for chemical peels. You should consider a chemical peel treatment if you want to treat a couple of things. One, pigmentary conditions such as melasma can be effectively treated with chemical peels. Two, acne prone skin with a lot of sebum buildup as well as hyperpigmentation from acne scars should consider a chemical peel treatment. When it comes to chemical peels, results depend on the underlying condition and the severity of what you're trying to treat. Usually, a treatment series once a month over three to four sessions will be better for more optimal results. Chemical peels are safe if done in the hands of a good practitioner. So if you understand the skin type that you're treating and the indications, as well as select the right strength of peel and right duration, it is safe. In the process of a chemical peel treatment, usually there will be a pre-cleansing step where you remove some of the overlying debris or oil from the skin. There might also involve um, preparation. Sometimes in certain peels, there might be prep wipes that may be utilized. And then after that, the selected chemical peel will be employed onto the skin, usually with a brush technique. Now, depending on the type of peel and the type of indication, this can be one coat or two coats, and the duration can range from a few minutes up to even 10 minutes as well. So after that, when the peel is removed, it's usually neutralized either with a neutralizing wipe or a neutralizing chemical. And then subsequently, a recovery cream is usually employed. 